All right, in our HealthCast today, March 1st marks the beginning of National Kidney Disease Awareness Month, and the focus is on making sure people out there, all of us, understand risk factors. Dr. Giselle Guerra, Medical Director of the Kidney Transplant Program at Miami Transplant Institute, tells us that an estimated 37 million Americans do have some form of chronic kidney disease, but many just don't know about it. That's because symptoms don't always appear until the symptoms are very advanced. Chronic kidney disease in the United States is very rampant. Uh, the main reason for that is because the two most common causes of kidney disease is diabetes and hypertension. And as everybody knows, you probably have a dear friend or a loved one with diabetes or hypertension. In fact, 50% of the population in the United States have, has high blood pressure, which is hypertension. And about one in seven individuals will suffer from diabetes at any given point in time. So left untreated, the doctor says this can ultimately lead to kidney failure and the need for dialysis and even transplant. Dr. Guerra says this makes those annual visits so very important to your doctor to address any underlying conditions that might cause damage to your kidneys and intervene early with lifestyle modification and medications if they are needed. Meantime today, the Food and Drug Administration advisors will be holding a second meeting evaluating a vaccine for RSV. The vaccine created by LaxoSmithKline reduces symptomatic illness in the trials. And just yesterday, the advisors recommended an RSV shot made by Pfizer for people 60 years and older. The FDA is also expected to reach a decision by sometime in May. Researchers found that a food sweetener called erythritol could increase the risk of blood clots, heart attacks, strokes, and even death for some people. That's pretty scary stuff. Now, according to a recent study, the very popular sweetener that is found in many keto diet products could double the risk, especially for those who already have heart disease or diabetes. The ingredient is commonly found in those zero calorie sweeteners like uh, monk fruit and stevia. The scientists warned users to use a small amount if you have to use it at all.